In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Xtrend Speed app. So if you open the Xtrend Speed app and then log in into your account, this is going to take you right here on the home page where you can assess your dashboard. So if you look right here at the top, this is where you can see the amount in dollars that you have in your account. And if you look at the bottom right here, you'll be able to see the deposit option that you can use to deposit into your account. So if you click right here on deposit, this is going to take you on the next page where you're going to see different methods that you can use to deposit into your account. So you can use cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, USDT or Visa cards or Binance Pay or bank transfer or wire transfer. So if you come back right here and then basically click right here on market, right here on market, this is where you can assess your watch list. So if you come here, you'll be able to see different types of assets that you can trade right here. And if you want to assess different asset group, like 10, for example, if you want to see cryptocurrencies, you just need to click right here on cryptocurrencies. And this is where you're going to find different cryptocurrencies. So right here, as you can see, we have Bitcoin, US dollar, we have Ethereum, we have Litecoin. And 10, for example, let's say you want to find commodities, you just need to click right here on commodities. And basically, this is where you're going to see different types of commodities that you can trade. If you want to open any market, like 10, for example, you want to open any chart of any pair, you just need to tap on it like this, like 10, for example, on Bitcoin US dollar here. And this is going to open the overview of the asset, like 10, for example, here, you'll be able to see the chart of the pair. And right here, you'll be able to see more information about that specific pair. Like 10, for example, you'll be able to see the open, the high of the day, the open of the day, the law of the day and all sort of kind of things. So if you scroll down right here, you can find more information like the trading conditions and stuff. So if you come here at the top, you'll be able to click right here on this box right here. And then if you click right there, this is going to expand the chart of the pair. As you can see, it's now bigger. And right now you can now start to use it to do your analysis. So if you look at the top right here on time, this is where we can change our time frame like 10 for example let's say you want to change the time frame to let's say one hour you just need to click right here on one hour and as you can see right here this is going to change your time frame to one hour time frame so if you want to switch to daily time frame you just need to click right here on daily and you're going to see this is now our daily time frame so now let's say you want to add indicators on your chart as you can see right here on my chart i'm having some indicators so if you want to add indicators on your chart what you just need to do is that you want to click right here on this gear icon which is on the right so click on the gear icon and right here this is going to show you all the indicators that are on your chart so as you can see right here i have many indicators but if you want to add another indicator on your chart you just need to click right here on the bottom right here on add indicators and then basically look for the indicator that you want to add on your chart so right here i can scroll down and then basically look at available indicators. So let's say I want to add this indicator right here, which is called tricks. So you just need to switch it on like this. By just switching it on, that's basically going to add the indicator on our chart. So now if we come back here, and then come back once again, you are going to see that we now have the tricks indicator right here at the bottom of our chart. So let's say you want to delete one of these indicators from your chart. What you just need to do is to click on the setting icon once again. And then basically go to any indicator that you want to delete. So 10, for example, let's say I want to delete this sort of like Bollinger Bands. So I just need to click on this delete icon and then click on confirm to delete the indicator. So now if we go back right here, you can now see that we no longer have the Bollinger Bands right here on our screen. So if we exit right here on our chart and we come back right here, you can see that at the bottom right here, we have the sell button and the buy button. And basically, these are the buttons that we use to buy or sell the market. So let's say we want to buy the market. You just need to click on buy right here. And then this is going to take you on the next page where you can choose the type of order that you want to create. So right here, you can create a market order or a limit order or any order that you want to. So I'm just going to keep it on market order. And right here also, you can also type your lot size that you want to use. So 10, for example, let's say I want to use 0.05. I just need to type it like this. And basically, once you do that, you can choose the account that you want to use right here to actually open this trade. You can use your credit account or basically your, your account with the money that you've deposited. So right here, if you want to set stop loss or take profit, you just need to switch this on right here. And then basically type your, and then basically type your stop loss point right here. If you want to set your take profit, you just need to switch this on right here. Type your take profit price level right here. 
and then once you're done you just need to click on open trade and then that's basically going to open that particular trade for you so if we come back right here once again and then come back right here if we click right here on the bottom right hand corner on me this is going to take you on your profile and then once you come right here on your profile you can actually scroll down right here and you'll be able to see your trading history click on trading history right here this is where you can find your trading history and if you click on trans transaction you'll be able to see the, your transaction your deposits and withdrawals and right here you can see your running orders and all those kind of